Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are looking ahead to the month of December and breaking down everything we can expect to see over the next few weeks. Now if you're excited for a new month on the New Horizons Island, be sure to leave a like and please consider subscribing if you love Animal Crossing as much as me. Anyway, December is jam packed with content and events, so let's jump into it. Number one, weather. Now December not only marks a brand new month, but also a brand new season, which is of course winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. Winter brings with it all new weather patterns and of course snowfall. Light snow begins falling from November 26th as autumn transitions into winter. After a couple of weeks of light snow showers, the heavy snowfall begins and it starts to settle. From December 11th, our islands are going to be completely covered in snow. It's pretty exciting and definitely one of the most most beautiful times of year. Of course, the opposite is happening in the Southern Hemisphere as December marks the start of summer. Number two, events. Now, as you'd expect, the first month of the new season brings with it a few exciting events. The first holiday event is, of course, Toy Day that sees Jingle stop by to host the gift-giving holiday. On December 24th, if we speak with Jingle, we'll have the opportunity to use the magic bag to deliver gifts to all of our villagers. During this time, we'll also be able to obtain the wrapping paper recipe, the Toy Day stockings, the gift pile recipe, and the Toy Day sleigh if we complete the event. There's no real preparation needed for this event, you can just take part on the day. The second holiday event is of course the New Year's Countdown. On December 31st, the final day of the year, a huge countdown timer will appear at the plaza in preparation for New Year's. Isabel and Tom Nook will be outside celebrating, offering up limited time items such as light sticks, party poppers and New Year's hats. Assuming you haven't traded with anyone, these hats will be different from the last two years years. At midnight, all of the villagers will be at the plaza celebrating the new year and a fireworks show will take place. It's pretty awesome, you don't want to miss it. Plus, if this is your first ever New Year's in the game, there's even some Nook Miles in it for you. Now, before we look at some of the other changes coming in December, I'd very quickly like to thank today's sponsor, BenQ. Now, BenQ have sent me their screen bar Halo Light Bar for review and if you game at a desk like I do, this is for you. The BenQ screen Green bar is a monitor light that flawlessly clamps to monitors. By doing so, it illuminates your desk space without causing reflections or screen glare. The screen bar halo also includes a backlight that eliminates the contrast between your monitor and the rest of your workspace. However, probably the coolest thing is the wireless controller that allows you to adjust both the brightness and color temperature levels. It's beyond satisfying to use. Altogether, this saves space if you already use a lamp and creates a far more comfortable and well-lit area which helps reduce eye strain. Now for my honest opinion this is an incredibly ergonomic solution if you work or game at desks for long periods. It's easy to set up, an excellent space saver and I actually didn't realize I needed one until my entire desk was properly illuminated. I actually can't find a flaw with it. It's practical and looks cool. So thank you to BenQ once again if you're interested in checking out the screen bar halo light bar for your gaming setup or monitor, I'll leave some links below. Now back to New Horizons. Number three, seasonal events. Now, alongside the holiday events, December has a bunch of seasonal events to enjoy. These are broken down into three categories, the solstice, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. The winter and summer solstice, depending on which hemisphere you're in, can be celebrated from December 15th through to December 22nd, and several items can be obtained from the Nook Stop. These include the midwinter sweater, the Aurora wall, the bathtub with Yuzu, and the Tanguyun in the Northern Hemisphere, and the Sunflower Crown, the Sunflower Rug, the Sunflower Glasses, and the Maypole in the Southern Hemisphere. Don't worry, you can get the other items from Friends Islands, or wait until the opposite solstice next June. New Year's Eve celebrations begin December 22nd, and run through to December 31st. This celebration honors several real world holidays from various regions and adds a bunch of New Year's Eve items, including the New Year's noodles, the burr liner, the 12 grape dish, the Olivia salad, and the sparkling cider or fizzy apple juice as is known in some regions. The New Year's Day celebrations begin at the same time, December 22nd, but run longer, with items being available until January 5th. Again, celebrating New Year's in many regions, the items available include the Kadomatsu, the Kagami, 
Kagami Mochi, the New Year's Shime Kazari, the Otoshi Dama Envelope, the Osechi, the Yot Nori, and the Zodiac figurine, which should be the rabbit this year, I believe. As of this recording, there's no sign of a 2023 celebratory arch, but if one is added between now and then, it will be available at the same time. Number four, seasonal materials. Now, as you can tell, December is already a pretty busy month with a bunch of events, seasonal celebrations, and of course, snow, but it's about to get even busier because several new crafter materials are about to begin spawning. The acorns and pine cones continue to spawn during the light snowfall, but will stop once the snow settles and heavy snowfall begins, which is around December 11th. Once snow has settled, snowflakes start spawning in their place and can be caught using nets. These can be used to craft items from the small snowflake series such as the snowflake wreath, the snowflake wall and the snowflake pochette amongst others. Their corresponding seasonal recipes can be found from balloons and bottles. Both these snowflakes and their recipes will continue to be available through to February 24th. After a few days of heavy snow, the cedar trees are decorated with lights and the red, blue and gold ornaments begin spawning. These are used to craft items from the festive series including the illuminated present and the giant ornament amongst others. These items along with their ornament recipes can be found from December 15th through to January 6th, so much less time than the snowflakes. Number five, Snowboy. Now, Snowboy is, of course, the snowman character that makes an appearance when it snows. And he actually introduces another seasonal craft material and another furniture series. From December 11th through to February, we can roll and merge snowballs to create a snowboy. If you make a perfect snowboy, which is easy to do if you follow the guide on screen now, you earn a large snowflake and a DIY recipe for an item from the Frozen series, which somewhat overlaps with the snowflake series too. There's lots of cool items here and they can all be customized into amazing colors, so be sure to build as many perfect snowboys as possible. Number six, seasonal items. So we've covered holiday events, seasonal celebrations and characters. So we can't continue until we've covered some of these seasonal items available from Nooks. In the lead up to the holidays, some collectible toys are available in the seasonal section at Nooks. These include the dinosaur toy, the dollhouse, the kids tent, the mini circuit, the pop-up book, the puppy plushie, the RC helicopter and the tin robot. All of these are available from December 1st through to December 25th and are quite special because they're all interactive. Now to bust a myth here, you do not need to buy these to gift to villagers for Christmas to complete the jingle event. The magic bag provides those for you. These are just extra toys you can buy and gift if you want to. Number seven, postcards. Now, it is the season for giving, or in our case, sending, so we can't forget the seasonal postcards that are available inside the post op I mean airport, for a limited time. Postcards such as the acorn, carpet of leaves, mushroom, and turkey day cards are no longer available from the end of November, but in their place, you can use the festive tree, the holiday, and the warm sweater cards from November 20th through to January 10th, as well as the snowflake, the snow person in town view, and the winter camellia cards from November 26th through to February 24th. Again, this is a feature I always forget about using, but if you're not going to be able to play over the holidays, it's a great way to send your villagers some presents. Number eight, bushes. Now something I always like to cover in these monthly videos is of course the bushes. Surprisingly, despite it being a new season, there's not much change here in the Northern Hemisphere. That's because holly bushes began flowering early November and will continue to bloom until the end of the year. However, players in the Southern Hemisphere will see a few changes because the pink and white azalea bushes stop spawning at the end of November with two new bushes blooming in their place. From December 1st, blue and pink hydrangea bushes start to flower as well as the pink and white plumeria bushes. The hydrangeas continue to bloom until January and the plumeria bushes bloom until March. Number nine, bug off. Now something the Southern Hemisphere has to look forward to is of course the final bug off of the year. As usual during the spring and summer months, the bug off takes place on the third Saturday of the month. So on December 17th in the Southern Hemisphere, Flick stops by to host the tourney. During this time, you'll be challenged with catching as many bugs as you can within a time limit and basically exchanging them for prizes, including the artisanal bug cage, the bug cage bag, and the ladybug rug amongst others. You can also 
win one of three trophies for taking part two, which is a great opportunity to win a different kind of trophy if you've already entered in the past. Number 10, Critters. Now you guessed it, it wouldn't be a monthly changes video without reminding players in both hemispheres that we have a new selection of bugs, fish and deep sea creatures to catch. Players in the northern hemisphere will encounter nine new creatures. The most notable include the dung beetle, the string fish and the lobster amongst others. Players in the southern hemisphere have it a little tougher given it's summer and will encounter 25 new critters. Blathers will be happy. The most notable include the rainbow stag, the great white shark and the tiger prawn amongst others. So there we have it, that's a lot to look forward to in one of the most beautiful months of the year. But what do you think about this and what are you looking forward to the most? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you once again to BenQ for sponsoring today's video, don't forget to check out the links in my description. Thank you of course to the patrons and channel members for supporting this content. If you'd like to learn about some of the unfinished features within Animal Crossing New Horizons that Nintendo may update in the future, be sure to check out this next video.